Hello everyone, today I will tell you about the 6th generation fighter jet of England, the Tempest. England, the legendary fighter jet manufacturer, started the 6th generation fighter jet project after a long break. Since England left the European Union, it started to leave in military projects. Germany and France jointly decided to develop a sixth-generation fighter aircraft and shared the images of this aircraft. Likewise, Boeing Company from the USA announced that it was working on the sixth-generation fighter aircraft concept called F-AXX. While all this was going on, in July 2018, England introduced the sixth-generation fighter jet, the Tempest. While the work of other companies consisted of photography and video, England brought the Tempest's mock-up to the fair. You will be surprised to hear the features of this aircraft, which deserves the sixth-generation phrase to the fullest. This aircraft, which is planned to fly in 2025, is expected to enter service in 2030. In 2035, these aircraft are planned to gradually replace the Eurofighter warplanes. The engines of the plane are designed by the company Rolls-Royce. I will divide the features of the aircraft into two as design and electrical, because there are very crazy developments in both subjects. If we talk about its design, the British really designed this plane like a Lego. Parts that make up many aircraft, such as wings, fuselage, tip, engine block, upper wings, can be disassembled and assembled. This design has very serious advantages. Let's say you are at war and you're the Tempest plane is shot down from the wing or elsewhere. If your plane returns safely to base, it will take a very short time to repair this plane. About a few hours. Remove the damaged part and replace it with a new one. It's that simple. Today, when a fighter jet suffers such damage or malfunctions, it will take weeks or even months before it can fly again. Not only this. Today, Questions such as speed, how much it appears on the radar, the number of ammunition it can carry are asked for any warplane. But there is something that no one asks and is much more important. Combat readiness rate. The higher the combat readiness rate of a military platform, the more successful it is. We can show the AH-64 Apache helicopter as an example. The Apache is truly a deadly attack helicopter. But as long as he can fly because the combat readiness rate of this helicopter is 45%. And that's pretty low. That's why the Tempest is so advantageous. Thanks to its modular structure, the Tempest is very easy to repair and maintain. All aircraft have a certain maintenance period. For military or civilian aircraft, it receives maintenance for a certain period of time in the hangar during the one hour it stays in the air. To give an example, one of the best aircraft in this regard is the Swedish-made Saab Rypen aircraft. This aircraft needs 6 to 8 hours of maintenance for every 1 hour it stays in the air. In F-22 and F-35 aircraft, this hour can go up to 12 to 18 hours. The record in this regard is in the Tejas aircraft produced by India. Tejas need about 20 to 24 hours of care during the 1 hour they stay in the air. Thanks to its modular structure and the fact that its maintenance and repair mechanism is connected to artificial intelligence, it significantly reduces the maintenance time of the Tempest. According to the UK statement, this time ranges from 1 to 1.5 hours for the Tempest. There are two reasons why the maintenance time is so short. The first is that it has a modular structure. The second is that the Tempe's maintenance and control works depend on artificial intelligence. Rolls-Royce Company is working on a special technology for this. It plans to develop micro-robots for civil aviation in the first place. These micro-robots will be found in all Rolls-Royce aircraft engines. When the plane lands, these little robots will dislodge and start moving in the engine. If there are damaged parts in the engine, they will either intervene themselves or inform the teams. This advanced technology will be used in the Tempest. Connecting maintenance and repair work on an aircraft to artificial intelligence means that the cost is considerably reduced. When purchasing aircraft for a military platform, it would be a mistake to consider only the cost of the aircraft as its price. 
you will purchase this aircraft and keep it in your inventory for 30 years. And in the meantime, you have to meet the maintenance and needs of this aircraft. Therefore, companies that sell aircraft determine the price by considering the cost of the aircraft over its lifetime. Briefly, life cycle cost. The Tempest will make it a very economical aircraft in use, even if it is very expensive at first due to its maintenance by artificial intelligence. The fuselage structure of this aircraft can be fully updated. Internal weapon stations can be added and, depending on the mission, some parts can be integrated into the fuselage of the aircraft. For example, if we want to send them on a reconnaissance mission, underbody gun stations will be of no use to us. When we remove the weapon stations and replace them with an extra fuel tank, the maximum range of the aircraft will naturally increase. So the Tempest is really like a Lego. You can remove the part you want and replace it with another one. If we talk about the electronic features of the Tempest, I am sure you will be very surprised here. It's complicated and overwhelming when you look at old airplane cockpits. The situation is a little more comfortable thanks to digital screens and new model warplanes. The cockpits are organized, but still very complex. The situation is very different in the Tempest. We can say that the engineers did a lot or nothing for the cockpit of the Tempest. In front of the pilot is only the control lever and the accelerator pedal. Yeah, nothing else in the cockpit. In order to ease the cost and maintenance of the aircraft and to get rid of the cockpit clutter on the aircraft, BAE Systems Company designed a wearable cockpit for the pilot. There is nothing inside, but the pilot can see everything thanks to the helmet he wears. Just like virtual reality. On the plane, everything will be according to the gestures and head movements of the pilot. You don't actually need a pilot to fly Tempe's. Because the Tempest is a fully autonomous aircraft. So artificial intelligence can fly the plane. In addition, the pilot can operate the aircraft with a remote control. The Tempest is a hybrid aircraft. You can use it as a UAV or a fighter jet. Of course, it will have the feature of not being caught by the radar. This has become standard for 6th generation aircraft. This feature is a must for an airplane to be 6th generation. The storm is said to be an EMP weapon that will crash the electrical system of the enemy aircraft. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of such videos. If you want to support, you can like and comment. Have a nice day.